Hello YouTubers, RogueMonkey Jr. here. So a ton of people have been asking me uh, to make a render settings video because apparently my quality is brutal. So I decided to put something together to show you how I go about uh, making a video. So first and foremost, you're gonna need to know a couple basics and this is for Sony Vegas. So let's jump into Sony Vegas right now. So first and foremost, before you're gonna want to uh, drag your clip onto the timeline, go to your properties in Sony Vegas. And I use a 19 by 1920 by 1080 p resolution for my work. And then I put frame rate 59.940, which is basically 60 frames per second. And uh, I start all of the projects with these settings. So now we're gonna drag our clip onto the timeline and do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? So I always select no. Uh, side note that I forgot to mention during the video, always turn off, always select disable resample when uh, you drag something onto your timeline because if you had frame drops during the recording, it will force the video to actually sample up to 60 frames per second and it can cause some ghosting. So I forgot to mention that. Very, very important to do it for all your clips. If you have a later version of Sony Vegas, you can just select this in the properties settings. And before rendering out a video, <clears throat> I always add a couple of effects uh, just to make the video look nicer on YouTube directly. Uh, sometimes I feel like games look a little bit washed out or need a little bit more sharpness, but I always go with what I think looks the best. So I have three filters that I always put on. Uh, so color corrector. To make this color corrector, you slide on the default and I just bump the saturation up to 1.2 and then you can save it as a, a default setting that you all, you never have to change again. You just drag and drop it onto your, onto your uh, video timeline here. Now, moving on to the next effect, I use Studio RGB to Computer RGB. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the red, green, and blue composition uh, because depending on what type of monitor or all these different things, uh, the red, green, and blue are produced differently. Now, I'm not gonna go into a hell of a lot of detail because I don't want this video to be too long. And lastly, I put a sharpen filter on. So I just drag on the default and I usually put it to uh, point, point 0.05 but uh, I usually just change it depending on what game I'm playing if I find it looks too sharp then I just tone it down a little bit if it's not sharp enough I just bump it up some more and that is the basics of the video effects that I put on my uh, my gameplay videos so for my render settings for the videos I start off with this base uh, template so internet HD 1080p uh, I, of course, render out in 2K, so 1440p, because it forces YouTube to give the video a better encoding uh, codec, so it gives you higher quality and allows your, your video to have a higher bitrate. Even if your video isn't recorded in 1440p, uh, it still makes it quite a difference on YouTube for the compression. So you would change your custom frame size to 2560 by 1440 you would allow source to adjust frame rate and put this to 60. Now, next, I don't touch any of this number of reference frames. I leave them to at two. I put a constant bit rate because I don't want the video to have a variable bit rate. So variable bit rate basically means that in instances where you wouldn't need as many bits for the amount of information that's on screen, it would just scale it down. But I just use a constant bit rate of 50 million and actually, uh, for the video bitrate on YouTube, if you're uploading in uh, high quality, they recommend between 20 to 30 megabits per second for 1440p, uh, 30 megabits per second being for high frame rates such as 60 FPS, which is the maximum that YouTube allows. But having that 50 million uh, really high quality bitrate for this frame size uh, ensures that you'll always have the best possible quality. Now, for the number of slices, I slide this up to 12. Uh, if you wanna go do some research on what this means, by all means do, but I'm not gonna explain it here. Enable progressive download just means that you're gonna be able to see in the back uh, the progression of the video at the same time at the, as the loading bar. Uh, as for audio, I leave this as is, and pretty much everything else is 
as is for the video render settings. And you can also save these video render settings uh, when you finish your custom template by naming it and then saving it. And I just put it as my favorites and you can just go show favorites and you never have to really look for it or you know change all the settings again after you've done it once. So it does take a little bit more time to render with these specific render settings, but the it does show in the quality on YouTube. And uh, a lot of people have told me that the videos look really good, uh, even if I don't record in 1440p. Uh, the videos really look good when you watch it in 1440p on YouTube, and it gives you the ability to um, encode and compress in the VP9 codec, I believe, on YouTube, which allows you to have that increased bitrate. So anyways, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.